Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. Special shout out to my new friend Cap, who we managed to rescue a couple of days ago, but he also bore bad news. Bandits are loose and they're wreaking havoc on these small campsites. Bandits have entered the area. All survivors out there should arm themselves and fortify their homes. Over the next couple of days, I'll be looking into robotics to give me some extra firepower, and I'll be striving for a chemistry station to get ready for fuel production. But for now, this is Tem Ricky signing off. All right, so in order to get into the robotics age here, we're gonna have to do some resource production. So if I take a look at this and robotics, so the sledge, we need more iron, we need more duct tape, but we've been doing good on the duct tape and purchasing tape and glue and things like that, so I think we can get that. And we've got the robotics parts. We'll hold off on the robotic turret for a little while because look, it's just, you know, more parts, tape, steel, and it's only a level four. So we'll wait until we can get the level five on that, craft it once and be done with it. All right, so open up the forge. We're gonna need more clay. We're gonna need more iron, do that. Smelt it into forged iron. More fuel for the fire. Make 27 glue. Fire this one up and get me some more water. And while I'm right here, let's get the money into the inventory now that we have more than 5,000 dukes. Uh, number one, because we're gonna be at the trade we're gonna need to buy some fuel I think because I think probably buying it is more time efficient than wrenching it at this rate and I did make up this little tiny garden last night and I think we'll expand that a little bit uh, as we see fit these are good to go and so now with the, the the duke trick in the pocket I should be able to dive off here no problem all right fingers crossed I might just you know take it easy for this first one here we go let's try this one ah that worked good all right let's head over to trader joel we've got to get our bundle quest reward from him and open up the tier twos all right here we are rolling up on joel's it's kind of a wasted trip out here we're just here for the quest reward essentially we're not here to sell we're not here to buy well we'll buy some gas i guess hey joel okay quest reward first we're gonna have to go with water i guess as much as i would love the molotovs the water is gonna lead to glue production and for our bundle reward mods scrap armor we could shift into heavy armor now that we have the the right book for that the urban combat book armor doesn't slow you down in combat that's really not much uh wood right there yeah let's go with the water filters save us a couple thousand dukes buying those and a special job to the west yeah, one click away hey you it's trader bob thanks joel i was really wondering where that guy was okay what do you okay so just the tier one jobs and this is not gonna be okay anything i want to do is it nope nothing okay that's fair enough we'll be back tomorrow to do is it tomorrow uh trader day tomorrow no not not Trader day tomorrow, but we'll be back tomorrow to see, to check on the tier twos anyway. And I'll be here checking on the vending machine and such. Could do skull crusher. Um, we could also do nerd tats, but I, you know, the nerd tats and the repulsor mod, they don't jive the way I would like them to. So I don't think I'll be stocking up on those. And I'll actually stock up on some sugar butts too, since I'm right here. And, um, more and more, I'm thinking there's no better place to store these things than just here at the trader. <laughs> Leave it where I need it. And I almost forgot. I just wanted to check and see. Do you have any gasoline, buddy? A little bit. Okay, I could buy the entire chunk of it right now. We could, I could actually go get an awesome sauce and all that stuff. But we'll try to just do like a minimalist approach for now. And... Um, you know, benefit from the awesome sauce, the sugar butts, and all that stuff all at once. In fact, I should have just gotten the Magnum, the pipe pistol, out of here to do that, but I forgot. It's okay. It's okay. We'll survive up to 45%. All right. I guess we're doing quests for Trader Bob then. Oh, right here, right here. Okay, there's a cement mixer right there. That should be good for a Forge Ahead book. Just gonna cautiously kind of grab this. Oh, snake. Hey, there we go. Die. Take that with me. Anything else around here? Maybe I'll pull the bike up and we'll kind of poke our head around here. Not going to loot all these. I'm not going to loot for free right now. I want to do quests. That way we have a chance for bundle rewards and such. I don't even think anyone's living here. So this one's probably mostly empty. Oh, 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 dog. Oh, looks all clear here. What about in here though? Well, just poke my head in here. You never know. They might have been renovating a little and had some tools. Ooh, some books sitting here. Hey, forge ahead. And this is actually a bookstore box with two more. Wow, more damage to deer and attack planet. And this is the garage. Oh, there's the dog box. But no one lives here, so I don't expect to see a dog. I wouldn't think. Hello? Hello? Can I open this door? Looks like it. 
and he just shocked out. Oh, this is a Mo Power Box here. Oh, oh my goodness, was that three robotics parts? I guess we're all set to get the drone, or the or the robotic turret, I should say. Okay, that was a good little mini loot. Let's try this one. I can see a passing gas box right there, along with a whole main loot and some zombies. And this door is 30K. And that's, oh, a door. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be too easy. Here we go, quick little cheeky main loot. Just odds and ends so far, a little bit of first aid. A wheel, what a surprise there. Bunch of books in here, accidentally read one that I'd already read, I could have sold that, but that's okay. Check this garbage and take the polymer. All right, roll it on. I, that stupid nurse just gave me an abrasion. You know what, actually? We're right here on this half of town and we haven't done the working stiff tool yet. It's just over there. Let's do the working stiff tools this morning. Yeah, this is the one. And I think there's a whole bunch of working stiffs boxes that are in the back there. Plus there's some supplies here that we could take with us. All right, I know I said I'm not looting for free, but I'll loot this place for free. Sand and fertilizer. Is that a good source of nitrate? I can't say that I recall. All right, I'm of a mind to just completely clear this place out then. Let's do this. Okay, and it looks like that will do it. Hit the button. I should open things up. I'll start out here so I don't forget, but there is a working stiff tool crate back here that I've already broken into. Four steel tool parts. Interesting find there. That's a pretty hefty amount. Snag that. Grab the main loot here. Remove 20% more arrows and junk from your targets with archery. There's a forge ahead book there. Another one there. Okay, doing great. Oh boy, if we could just get this as a quest again someday. Last crate over here. One more. Nice. Okay, what are we at now? 39? I think we need 50. Okay, give me that and let's go. We've actually, we've really got to go stash our inventory. It is completely filled up and so is the bike. Yeah, look at the stuff that I've pulled out of here so far. I even found some dye, which I find kind of interesting. It's quite rare. 28 potted plants. I'm not sure if I want to use those for decoration or for clay soil though. Anyway, let's go. Well, the plan was to go to Trader Bob and see what his quests are today. That's still the plan, but we got to stop home first and resupply. And just on my way through here, I can see that I've missed a bunch of steel vending machines and gas pumps. Gonna just blow through this stuff. All right, just keep your fingers crossed that Bobby has the right mission for us. Well, as usual, Bobby has just the worst, like, residential missions for us that I could even imagine. There is the Sweet Honeypot Farms, and I know that there are some books in there, so I will take that one. Ah, I think the key is probably going to be with Trader Joel, getting the Tier 2s and then the Tier 3s with him, and that way, you know, we'll have even better chance. And, and that stuff is on his side of town anyway, the stuff that we want to do, except for the Mo Power. Yeah, maybe we'll run across that eventually. But, okay, Honeypot Farm, straight over there. I guess we can knock that out. Yep, this is the spot. You can't miss it. I've already checked the mail here. I will grab up some golden rod, and that should be good to help make some mineral water for us. There we go. And I'll take this and do it all over again. Yep, this is the room I was thinking of because I seem to recall... I mean, I, I dip my head in here from time to time just to grab these couple of books and magazines here. Wood Splitter Mod already have one. 
don't think I need to craft anymore, hopefully. And who's waiting in there? Nobody today. Okay. Wow. No, oh, he's hiding around the corner. Uh, long... Where did you come from? I've never seen anyone hiding up there before. Now I'm suspicious. What's up there? Hello? Oh, a zombie. I bet he's waiting to drop down on me over here somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to fall down. Hold on. All right. Back on the intended pathway. Businessman. Slow down, buddy. Oops. So last night, I think I did get the third and final double pocket mod crafted. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's where I have all these inventory slots opened up to me right now. Ah. Man, businessman. <laughs> Businessman's all over me today. But I know the trick over here, and it, uh, it involves a pipe bomb. <laughs> so let's just make sure that they wake up. They're awake. And take that. Oh, ho, ho, nice. Some more goldenrod for our mineral water needs. And some more honey for my infection needs. All right, who's in here? Why don't you all just come to the door? We'll do this the easy way again. One, two, three, and open it. There we go. Oh, you want some of this too? Take that. Got myself a loot bag here too with a treasure map. Let's just check that out and see where that's going to send me. That will be... Oh, uh, kind of right over there by the NDC checkpoint where we rescued Cap at. All right. Also, ooh, did I miss the supplies? Oh, the supplies are in here. They are right up there. Good. So that portion is done. Let's skip this part and do the underground portion before nightfall so that just in case, you know, we have some time to react. All right. Just step down here and do this nice and quietly. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Somebody standing on the toilet. Hello there. Just you two. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it is. Oh, like I said, time to react. I hear pitter-patter up here. Who is it? Oh, there's a big horde running in here. Yep, yep. Oh, they're clustered up over... I, I think they're trying to break into the barn here. Quick, we've got to hold the line here. Hold the door. They are in. We're going to do this with pipe bombs. Nice and easy. There's even ferals in there. Take that. Take that. Open. And there we go. That did something. 8,800 XP. Come on up here, Arlene. Businessman, not today, buddy. I thought I already made that abundantly clear. Okay, a couple more. Wow, I think I think I just killed that entire horde in like three seconds flat. One more. Look out, Arlene. Nice. And three skill points to spend. I I have this weird habit of not spending skill points, and I'll probably continue forgetting to do them. I wanna I can't, I, I'm too anxious to make correct decisions right now. <laughs> we gotta finish looting this place. Encumbered by 10 at nightfall. At least we don't have a, a horde bearing down on us. And in the main loot chest here, okay, good set of pad leg armor. I'll take that. Okay, good enough for this place. Let's get the heck out of here and go home. Okay, so I've just been crafting here. I got two new dew collectors rolling in and 22 duct tape and try as I might, Right now, the glue situation is really good. 37 extra glue and I can make a whole bunch more. It's the cloth. The cloth to make the duct tape is what's really holding things back right now. I do have the capacity to make a little bit of paint. I'm gonna experiment with this because I think I can also make dye. I can, 10 paint a piece for dye. So let's just, <laughs> let's just work on cosmetics for a little while. I got nothing else to do tonight. I guess t what else we have to do tonight is like, see if we can get a situation where the zombies can't, or like wh where we can fight the zombies off right here. Some kind of like a um, mini fighting position here, just in case a horde rolls up on us. And then eventually in preparation for potential bandit attacks, I think having a like shoring up this outer wall out here is, is is like part of the renovation project. We've got to get this place all buttoned up. All right, I worked on the die situation a little bit. Tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Thematic, I guess we'll say. It doesn't look too great though. Ah, we'll work on it. It'll look better, 
better when we get some military armor. Okay, so now in the safety of our home here, let's spend those skill points. If I do robotics inventor, does that mean those things are going to be cheaper to make? Because that would be really nice. I don't think that's the case, though. Uh, alternatively, we could do better barter, and that would help us in the buying and selling department. And we do have quite a sell chest going, along with all the stuff that we have over at Joel's. Yeah, I mean, seeing how we're still like 20 or so duct tape off from getting enough to make the robotic sledge... Jeez, okay, we gotta focus on some cloth tomorrow. Well, for now then, I will take those skill points into better barter. One, two, three, there we go, all done. All right, well, let's see if we can get some sort of a fighting position built up. Yeah, this is the spot right here, and I'm already seeing that the block plane situation is just a wreck. Oh, a feral, who is this? Lawbind, get out of here, lawbind. Okay, and morning has just arrived. We'll we'll get a move on in just a second, no hurry. I gotta wait until Joel opens anyway. No, oh, everything's just in the way. Okay, some something to that effect, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna overthink this too much. You know, at maximum, we're gonna have to fight 30 or 40 zombies here with the option of just, you know, getting on the ground level and running away, I guess, but Kind of as per usual for me, I'll just do it into wood right now until I get to test it out. And then we'll decide on a f on finalizing it or not from there. So I think that will do it. Everything deserves a test run before you put it into cobblestone and concrete. I got the dew collectors down up here last night. Not sure if that's going to be the final configuration. Although the more I think about it, I, d I think I'll probably take like this stuff off. And, or, or some we'll have some sort of like a skylight or... You know, just open air up here. I don't want to be confined in here. I like the nice open air. Okay, pure mineral water can go straight to the hot bar. How are we looking here? Fed, hydrated, we're topped off on ammo, we got the money, we are good to go. Let's go see Joel. And the garden is growing, nice. Somehow I've just blown right by this little passing gas here every single time. Looks like Joel is just about to open. Here we go, let me in. Wake up, Joel. All right, good morning, good morning, Trader Joel. Let's see here. Check your inventory. No, I think we're good on that. Check your jobs. What do you got here? A bunch of restore powers. PB machining. Okay. Can you help me with Crack a book. Problem? That is the one. Okay, what you else does he have, though? Have he has a restore power at the working stiffs. He also has the shady swine. <laughs> Not sure what that is. And our best yeah, moments. Traveler. I don't know what that is either. All right, here we go, though. Crack a book time, finally. We've been waiting for this moment since, what was it, like day two when we cleared that place out? All right, let's go knock that out real quick, and uh, yeah, okay, we'll have to see how things shake out in terms of what we find for magazines, and then sort of see what we want to do from there. <laughs> All right, here we are at the crack of book. I'm back! All right, so we're going to have to see how things shake out here. I just said that, but basically, let's hit it. Um... I'm just gonna gather everyone up here. This is my preferred way of doing this anyway. And the ones in the ceiling, maybe grab those guys too. All right, the <laughs> zombie's moving fast here. Let's probably turn around and fight them off a little bit. All right, out we go. Wide open spaces here. Oh, <laughs> send them back to the window. Get back inside. There we go. Okay, knock that crawler out. And I think we're good for this level. Yeah, we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna do here after this because we might unlock the level five junk turret or robotic turret, but what we could also continue with the plan to just use all of our duct tape on the robotic sledge. We could also unlock the chemistry station by doing this. And that's gonna, I don't even know what that requires. That's gonna, oh geez, we're gonna need a beaker for that and a friggin' bunch of acid. Oh geez. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't know if we can do that or not. I don't even know if I can hit that bird with an arrow. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Come on now. There we go. All right, everybody in here. Ow, wake up, man. Fast mover. Yeah, there's, there's a real lucky find here. I wasn't exactly anticipating it. Oh, hello there. Guess I'll just crawl right in here with these girls. And I am charged up and ready for this guy. Where is he? Oh, I thought he was going to be at the foot of the bed like he usually is. My bad. Okay, let me let me just see what's in this first. Okay, not much. What do you expect? All right, let me loot all of this stuff up. I'll meet you back downstairs and we'll go through the magazines. Hey, lucky blueberry pie.
All right, just taking some final things apart here. You think, see anything else here that's made out of cloth? I've taken down some curtains and stuff, but yeah, cloth. Gotta get this everywhere we can at this point. I, I didn't realize just until like today, basically, how important that is. And I'm incredibly over encumbered and the bike is full. So let's sort through the magazines so that we can lighten the load a little bit here. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so basically if we look at our skill points, the only skill points I've selected that influence magazines at all would be lock picking for workstations, grease monkey for vehicle adventures, physician for the, the medicine one, and robotics and uh, electrocutioner for the tech planet books. And that netted me seven tech planets, six vehicle adventures, and 14 forge aheads for some reason that it was really weighted in that direction there. Well, I think, is that gonna get me to 50? Definitely. 54, unlocking the chemistry station. Vehicle adventures gets me to 73, which unlocks the four by four. And let's see if those tech planet books will get me Yes, Robotic Turret Quality 5. Other than that, I got a couple of books here. I got an Art of Mining book, Automatic Weapons book, and I think that's just about it. The couple books I'm gonna sell. Oh, there's the good Ranger's Guide to Archery book where you can shoot uh, zombies in the leg and slow them down. I love that book. One of my favorites of all the books. Okay, so big win there to get that crack of book once again. A huge leap forward in the crafting skill. However, my looting has fallen behind because I don't have a... Well, I don't have acid and I don't have... What's the other thing? A beaker. And that's going to be really rough to find here. But we have a day with which to do it. The acid I'm not so worried about because I have read Wasteland Treasures Volume 3, I believe. Let me double check on that. Yes, harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. So if, if all else fails, I could just wrench down cars all day long we need the fuel anyway get the acid that way so but for now let's focus on the beaker because if i can't get the beaker it ain't worth it trying to get anything else you know where you get beakers though you get them out of main loot chests like a tier four tier five chest and if it isn't navas gain general hospital right here oh i got a bad feeling about this i'm gonna need some frames for this project all right you got zombies up here or what Yes, we do. Ah, I got the drop on him, too. Okay, yeah, and if we don't pull it out of the main loot here, maybe we go into the surgery room because there's all those chemistry piles over there. Okay, that's... That's sounding like a good idea. This is where we need to be, for sure. Some people out there might question my methods, but hey, at least I'm trying to get the job done. All right, drone camera is in position to give me some, uh aerial surveillance here. We definitely have zombies. If I'm lucky, I might be able to sneak attack a few of them. Oh, I wish there was some kind of a candy that helped my archery skills. We'll go for birds first, I think. And I'll go for, I don't know, female zombies? Are they weaker? The, the, the squishy little ones, like not bikers, basically. All right, everyone's just running all over the place now. They're probably going to go knock out my pillar, so keep an eye on that for me. Uh-oh, one of them's going to try and jump. Oh, no, thank you, guys. Go ahead and... No, 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 no. I don't want them to be down there. Oh, jeez, oh, we got to get off of here. Okay, holy crap, we're here. Just get some pipe bombs over there for those guys. And light one. And then as soon as they blow... Go, 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 go. Open fire. Yes! I win! We do have barrels, though. Nice arrow in your eyeball, buddy. All right, it ain't over yet. A couple of them ran around, so I don't I don't know where they're gonna be. I'm gonna head down here to the main loot. Our way down is still intact here. Okay, well, they... I think if they come up the stairs, they'll come up to this door and we'll have a chance to react. All right, first try into that chest there. Let's open this chest here and then I'll take an eye candy. There we go. We're in. Doing good here so far. Get rid of the pine cones, please. We do... I think there's a zombie that came to the door over here. Okay, that'll hold. Let's see what we get here. A little bit of money. Poppin' Pills crates also have a chance for a beaker. Oh my goodness, there it is. Okay, well, what's in this anyway? Probably another beaker. Hey, a forgetting elixir. That's gonna come in super handy. And a dart trap bundle, which will get us started on the dart trap for the base. We'll get that hooked up 
tomorrow. A little bit of food in there, junk food anyway. Last crate here, good for a little bit of junk medicine stuff. Okay, start getting rid of some stuff here, start reading, got a couple more forge ahead, scrap those, and scrap, take, and read. I like to just blab a little bit when I'm nervous. Oh, I've already put an arrow into her skull, so we'll finish things off. This is Sylvia Bathory. Goodbye. Now that's what I call some, like, controlled cheesing right there. All right, down we go. Trying to recycle all my frames on the way down, and oh, here we are, ground level. Okay, so that that's one problem down. Oh, some steel over here. Ah, my lockpicking skill failed me. I used all my lockpicks on this stupid ATM. Ah, whatever. Pisses me off, man. I spent all those skill, three skill points into lockpicking, and it breaks seven lockpicks on one ATM. All right, well, that's fair enough. Let's go get our quest reward. And then we gotta solve the acid problem. Hello, Joel. Go, what do you got for me here? Crafting skill magazine bundle kind of sounds like the one for me. Let's take it. And another job. Ah, restore power at the working stiffs. Um, that's gonna net me probably at least five of the um the workstation books. Forge ahead. I guess I'll take that. And I guess for t for the rest of the day today, we just won't quest. We'll just look around and see if we can find some acid somewhere. Okay, there's a nurse zombie running around. It's just a wandering horde here. Hey, hey, what are you guys all beating on over here? Where are you? Uh oh, there they are. How many of you are there? Oh, a cop. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place back here. Okay, um, if you can hear this, come this way. Well, oh, I don't want y'all spread out like this. Can you kind of, oh, geez, spitting. Uh, all right, I'm gonna risk it here. Um. Yeah, let's take one of these for the extra stamina regeneration. Oh, I've got money. Money means mega crush. Yeah, let's do this one. Ah, whoa, where'd you come from? Ah, go away. All right, whoops. Ah, I can basically fly. Ow. Oh my god, man, those guys take forever to kill. I think that just about does it, though. Nope, there's <laughs> there's one more I think that's inside that clambered his way in. There he is. All right, that gets the heart rate going a little bit. Let's check the loot bags. Four of them this time. Very nice. Do I even have <laughs> the inventory space for them or what? All right, there we go. Read that Forge Ahead book, and yeah, we gotta go home and stash the inventory at a minimum here. All right, everything is put away to the best of my ability. Let's collect up all the water here and just get everything rolling again. Oh, look, I can make meat stew. I got, I, I apparently found enough books to unlock that. Also do vegetable stew. Yeah, it doesn't matter either way. I'm held back by potatoes. I'll take a couple of meat stew. Oh my goodness, that just takes so long. Okay, well that is officially now the food fireplace, and this one over here is gonna be the water and glue fireplace. And let's see what, how we're doing on the tape. All right, we can get nine more. Robotic turret. Oh, 200 steel. Okay, that's not happening today for sure. We do have the robotics parts now to do both of these, but we're gonna be far short on duct tape as well. So I think we'll we'll aim for sledge. That'll help out on Horde Night next uh, couple in a couple days anyway and so okay what do we need to do then we just need what do we need more cloth i guess is that what i'm yeah i've run out of freaking cloth again oh boy nine more i need 90 more cloth which is not too bad that's like three t-shirts also need the five acid no we need four acid and we've got the beaker is there anything else that we'll need though for the chemistry station? Cause I'm only making one trip. Okay, three cooking pots, we've got the pipes. Yeah, we're good. Three cooking pots coming up. All right, I'm hurting pretty bad though. Let's just get a first aid kit, open up this magazine bundle for another couple forge ahead, tech planet, explosive magazines. I also have this piece of chest armor, which is good for a couple of extra armor rating. And my padded chest armor was about to break anyway. So I feel like that's, that's fine. It was only level two to begin with. And I can actually scrap that for 38 cloth. Okay, that gets us a third of the way there for the duct tape we need. Okay, we are on a mission now to get cloth. And, oh, you know what? We can get cloth from cars. So all we need to do now is wrench cars until we get 
four more acid. That's going to take a while. I, I think on paper it's a 20, 25% chance. I don't quite remember something something like that. It might even be 10%. Okay, so this could take quite a while. Well, let the epic car harvesting montage begin. There it is, number four. Okay, let's finish this one off though. All right, let's go home. We've got a robotic turret to craft, but we also have to craft the chemistry station and two additional vehicle adventures just from searching cars up to 75 on that. Okay, need the cooking pots and some extra forged iron there. There we go, okay, chemistry station. Get that rolling and robotic sledge. What are we missing here? Uh, two more duct tape. I can do two duct tape. I can do like 19 duct tape. All right, that'll do it. Level five robotic sledge coming right up. Well, in like probably tomorrow sometime. Well, that was it for that. Let's go burn through the restore power then. Might as well. Okay, we're back and we don't need to do the whole thing. We just need to get to the main loot, get the get the power boxes, the, the working stiff tools boxes. And that's, that's pretty much that. All right, restore power, let's hit it. Okay, where are you guys? We gotta do this before another wandering horde shows up. Killer Joe, you pervert. What are you doing in the woman's bathroom? Okay, without a doubt, there's another big fight waiting for me here like there was last time. Oh, clever ones. Oh, I've, <laughs> I've done this exact thing before. Wait for him to come up here. Impromptu horde base. And for the ones that don't cooperate, explosives all right that's that and killer joe get your ass back down here or your head either way this is the last one and then we'll do up the generator which is i think it's probably in here where is it oh it's the big one around back i see there we go power restored and that that hopefully yeah turned all the lights on i think oh oh and there's more more people here my bad i thought if we were done with people in the poi ah away yeah we're done now all right how close can we get to the crucible today not very close i'm not I'm only pulling a couple out here how about the main chest here Ooh, pretty bad i think i already have a set of quality six legs as well so that's no good i already have the impact bracing mods so that's wait no nope. no i do not i thought i did there we go slap those on i guess that's a little bit of a win the impact bracing mod is good for two Extra meters, the 5,000 dukes from that great heist book is good for 15, and parkour, I think, in total is worth four fall distance. So you get about, you know, 20 or so total. Three forge aheads gets me up to 62 out of 75. Wow, actually, we're getting pretty damn close there. Couple more, you know, bundle rewards, and I think we'll have it. All right, well, that's it for this place, I think. I'm pretty sure we still have kind of ages to wait on our crafted stuff back home, so I'm not really in any hurry to get there. We'll gather up some clay and some nitrate, and I'll meet you back there in a couple hours. All right, I've just made it back to the base, and I'm about to repair up the motorcycle because it's been in pretty rough shape here for quite a while. All fixed up there, though. Almost out of gas. However, I just checked and the chemistry station is almost done. I'm not starting our next broadcast until it's finished and on the ground somewhere. I guess in the meantime, I probably should look for some real estate for it because it's already getting kind of tight up here. Just checking on resources for tomorrow. I think we're going to do a lot of tree chopping so that we can make wood frames because the majority of the base being a tower base can just be wood because like that, the whole middle portion of the support columns really shouldn't be targeted too much. I mean, you know, the ones that are like the zombie ladders, I'll make those as strong as I can, but... So that's pretty much the plan. We're gonna find another forest around here somewhere. I mean, there's trees all over the place. We'll get plenty of wood. And then we'll probably have to do some clay digging as well so that we can make some more cobblestone. Just gonna preemptively get these wooden blocks made up and give me that chem station. Right there we'll do. We've got 400 oil shell. I do have plenty of fuel. So that fuel right there will probably get us to the desert biome and back for a big oil shell mining adventure. But here we go. <laughs> Oh, 800 or so gas there. Jeez, that's loud. We can do the glue a little bit more efficiently. And while we're at it, let's get some gunpowder made up. Whoa, jeez, turn that crap off. All right, we got one thing left, the turret. Like I said, we're not leaving until the mission is complete. I guess what I'll start working on is, yeah, make sure that uh, we can kind of tear some of this off because uh, I don't want it, I want it to be nice and open up here, but I don't want it to be all destroyed stuff. We want some nice, clean edges. 
All right, well, that's one pass around here. That'll do for now, I think. All right, there it is, the level five drone sledge, and I've got a spot on the hotbar for him already. Let's see if I can put any mods on, though. Um, uh, we got a grave digger to get started with. That's okay. How about some slick red paint for it? And there it is, mission complete for this episode, the chem station and the turret. But anyway, my friends, thank you very much for tuning into this broadcast of Hope Radio, and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.